was showing a protester in downtown Columbus who witnesses say had been pepper sprayed and had his prosthetic legs removed by police while trying to run away. What is this world coming to? It was the most over-the-top police response I've ever seen. He asked not to be identified, but the man who recorded this video says this protester on the ground had allegedly been pepper sprayed and had his prosthetic legs removed in a physical altercation with officers as he ran away from a protest. He was doing that, like, thigh and palm run. Are they serious right now, man? I had to record this like five, six times because I, I, I busted out laughing. I can't even lie to y'all. Up the street so fast, his friends were barely keeping up with him. Yeah, I gotta be kidding me. Say, say it ain't so, man. <laughs> Stop laughing. We absolutely did not do that. Police body camera footage shows what police say is the same protester refusing to leave the street and throwing multiple objects at officers, including two large wooden riot shields, and one hits an officer in the head. Thank you for tuning in to HB's Point of View. How y'all doing today, man? What's going on? Just here to say what's up. Check in with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling, man, enjoying the breeze. Birds that went in, you know how I do, though. I sit on the back and just marinate. You know what I mean? I'm in tune with nature in my backyard. When y'all get a chance, go over here and check these people out. I'm gonna pop up a few different channels. Go check them out, show them some love. Good, genuine people that come through and support the channel on a regular with quality comments and all that good stuff, man. So y'all go check them out. And uh, let's just get into it. Martha Martinez Briones ran to help her husband, who she says was shot right in front of their home. And I couldn't help him. I'm a nurse, but I couldn't save my own husband. <laughs> Her older son was also shot in the arm. Her younger son witnessed the whole thing. I don't know. I need all the help I can get at this time because I don't know where to start. And I wish, do not wish this on anybody to go through or their kids to see their father dying on the street. Now this right here, this is some ugly shit, man. Think about it, your neighbor, right? It's a lot of tension going on, man. So you got to watch how you, how you, how you coming across to people. She calls it senseless. An argument over parking in the alley behind their home led to the dispute with 75-year-old Leslie Britton. These are repeated, repeated efforts on my part and my husband's part to do the right thing, to go through the right channels. But it's senseless. I think this could have been prevented had they followed through with all these complaints. Police sources tell us on Wednesday afternoon, words were exchanged, including racial slurs. But it's like some of these old timers, they're not playing that racial slur shit. They're not about to, you know what I mean? That, that guy was younger too. That old man, I mean, he having flashbacks of back in the 60s and everything else, man. You can't play out here. Martha says her husband did not deserve to die. Man, I can't say if the old dude ain't start calling him all kind of spicks and whatnot. Now that I think about it. We follow the rules. We have the highest respect for authority. And this is what happens. He was a hard worker, 15 hours of work. He died in his work boots. He died right here by the tree. All because of a stupid parking space and asking him to move the vehicles from the alley. Police stopped Leslie Britton a few blocks from the scene. He apparently told someone he shot two people and was on his way to the police station to turn himself in. He is now being held without bond. It's all ignorant because at the end of the day, we ain't the ones laughing. This is what I seen today. What's y'all thoughts on this? Shouts out to everybody that been rocking with me, man. Names off the top of my head. Go check out my man, Miami T. He dropped a hell of a video, man, about how they thinking it. You know what I mean? Basically saying what a lot of people might be thinking, but, but are not wanting to talk about right now. We'll check out Chantel's World. Go check out Kenya Mama 4. And go check out that one sexy Southern Belle. She be dropping some content that'll make you think too, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's just a few, man. That's just four. And I want to say C loves me, but I could be wrong. But either way, I'm going to pop up some links. My memory bad. 